Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. I'm going to throw a Hail Mary pass on this uh, Polaris Exploder 250. And the pass is going to be, I'm going to try a blaster carburetor. This is the carburetor that belongs on it. I bought this clone for it, threw away $60, it just doesn't fit. This is too big and it's too tall, I can't, it won't go on, so, <laughs> plus other issues. Anyway, I picked up this blaster clone, it was about uh, $32. If you put your calipers to it, you see you'll come in somewhere around 36 one and this one comes in just slightly over that. So, um, I'm thinking it'll fit right where I need it to. Check it out. Slips right into the intake manifold. We might have a home run here. Right? Just reach in. Put the choke on. <laughs> Maybe a winner. This is the throttle cable. You could see when I move the throttle, it moves in and out. Unfortunately, this doesn't quite work with this. So, <laughs> we're going to get out the drills and files and so forth. Um, whenever you go to alter something, it's better to remove too little material and go back ten times than it is to remove too much material once and wreck everything. So, take it nice and slow. Get your files and raspy bits and drill bits and all that junk out and go to work. So if one takes their rotary rasp, right, and very carefully, I want to show you, I'm not actually, removes some material, one could get the cable to settle right into the slide, right? So I did this to the throttle slide, right, and let me show you what I had to do to the cable. Now, the cable had double bulbs on it, right? The bottom one, obviously, is necessary. Then it had this extra one, and you guys could see how wide it is there, and then how flat it is. That way it would slip through the groove. And I just used a small file to do that. So I put the slide back together again, right? You put the cap on first. Don't forget the little gasket. Then the spring. Then you slide it on, you put the needle in, you put the you pull the spring back, you put the plate on, right? Cable hooked up, we're all happy. And it looks like I got plenty of length there, so the carburetor will idle down. It is all back together again, and you can see it opens all the way up and it closes all the way. You can hear that thud. There's also a little bit of play before it starts to move. That's a good thing because that little bit of play allows it to start dumping more oil into it, right? It opens up the, um, the valve, so to speak, to start mixing more oil into the motor um, before the carburetor begins to spool up. There we have it. The carb is installed. This little brass fitting He's kind of rubbing on the carburetor a little bit. If it works, I'm going to have to spend a couple of moments with that. Maybe, maybe it'll settle in a little deeper too. Let me work on it for another couple of seconds. Okay, we have the jump pack hooked up. And I got this wire, wire coming off the starting solenoid. So if I just touch it... Whoa. <laughs> so I, I got the jump pack hooked up and if you just touch this wire to here, right, it'll engage the starting solenoid. So I uh, just want to show you that. Um, that's what I'm up to. The carburetor is installed. And I put one of those cone air filters, and then I put 
a very thin sock over the cone air filter and you guys could see that's all clamped on um, the carburetors on well right we have the intravenous gas tank and let's let's hope this puppy starts if it starts and run right it's not dripping gas so if it starts and runs I'm I've pulled this all terrain vehicle from the jaws of defeat from the scrapyard of parts from the buckwheat of the outback and uh, we might just get this running and riding I wanted to uh, clear everything off I don't want that torque converter to get a hold of anything and you know kind of throw it in my face right and as a matter of fact I'm going to zoom in on the torque converter and as I give it fuel you should you should see this close up I got the air cleaner on it I got the 40 to 1 in it I got the jump pack on it okay let's turn on the ignition I don't know if you guys could see the neutral light looks like the choke chokes on let's give it a try It's not shaking the camera. So it chokes off. throwing stuff in my face. Hmm. Seems to run pretty good actually. I like it. That'll help it run a little richer. I don't. <laughs> Once again, I don't know what this should be idling yet. I gotta go check a few things. Here, let me show you a couple of things with the camera loose. So I turned up the idle a little bit, turned off the choke, and now check it out. If I turn it on, see the neutral light comes on. That's something to be thrilled about. So it's ready to go. If I just give this a little touch. So excuse me, start to light up. If you look at the top you the same So what do you guys think? Do I have a winner here? Is it worth investing in the belt? I don't know if it should just have the show time. That'll make it possible. I think I got a lot of oil. The choke is on.
it's been, I don't know if you can tell by the sound if it's running lean. I would think if you had an extreme vacuum leak, it wouldn't idle down. It would have trouble idling. But you guys know, I don't know a lot about these things. You know, generally speaking, you can know how to use the screwdriver and wrenches and all that other stuff. Doesn't know, doesn't mean that you know the personality of a diesel engine or a two-stroke engine or a two-stroke diesel engine, right? All these things have their own little personalities. And the more I can learn from other people, the better. But I'm thinking, generally speaking, this is doing what it should be doing. By the way, these things are mean on fuel. At least twice as bad as the uh, four strokes. I think it runs. I really want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Thanks for uh, sticking with me on this project. <coughs> I appreciate all the uh, advice and help that I've been given. I wonder if I could get it into a higher level. No. I think I could put it into Chloe. Well, I got it into reverse. Oh, <laughs> there might be some kind of ignition thing that shuts that down. Anyway, so once again, I want to thank you guys for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. I really appreciate all the advice. Uh, that's always helpful. I got to ask you guys, please keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.